Hey guys, Dave here again. Um, just an update on the leather pipe tray. I'm sorry I didn't get the video out yesterday, but uh, Monday got away from me. So here it is Tuesday. So the leather pipe tray has been sitting in the mold for close to 48 hours. And to the touch, it's dry. There may still be some moisture trapped between the leather and the, the block in there, but it should be dry enough. It'll hold its shape for sure. So let's go ahead and pull these clamps off and see what we've got, okay? Because you're seeing this first time for me as well. All good. I've done a number of these. I'm fairly confident it'll be fine. Get this monster clamp off of here. And we'll just off and a lot of them have loosened up because the leather will shrink a little as it dries. But one thing I gotta recommend guys is don't don't rush this. Don't put heat on it. Don't take a hair dryer to it. Don't use hot water. You know the best you want to use is lukewarm water. Just let nature do its thing. Okay clamps are off this apart and sometimes it takes a little bit of effort to get it off but usually there pops off. I'll just show you kind of what it looks like on the tray. So remember what I was saying about some people put cleats in them? I, I don't see that's necessary. There's there's no darting here. There's no there's no issues. And again I use eight and a half inches square and that gave me a lot of flange overhang. Sometimes I'll get a little cheap and I'll, I'll Go with like a seven and a half inch but then you're you know you could mess it up let's just pop this off and there you have it a nicely formed tray this will hold its shape and i was right it's just a touch damp but nothing serious so you can still work with it now and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim this flange off let's just move this out of the way over cutting board. Good sharp knife. That's that's the key to, to cutting leather is your knife has to be as sharp as possible. I even will go so far as to hone these on a, a leather strop just to make sure they're super sharp. Uh, I know this one is pretty good so I'm just gonna trace along the edge. Ideally you get it in one cut. And got that in one cut. And we'll trace the other edge. And there goes my phone. We'll just let that go while I cut this. It's annoying, I know, because, you know, I'm running a video and I only do this in one take. It's probably my wife. And we'll just go ahead and nip the corners. Wow, that is really super annoying, isn't it? I kind of knew she'd call. She's out of town again. There, give it up. There. So we get that trimmed off. And we have a pipe tray. And again, you can bend it and it'll come back to shape. I don't recommend bending it too much while it's still a little green, but you can trim these edges up better. You can burnish them over, whatever. But that's done. That's ready to go. Oops. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful. We'll talk to you soon.